uh, when we are working with formulas, so uh, when a sheet has a lot of formulas, what happens is that things start to slow down because they have to be recalculated each time you make a change in the uh, in uh, anywhere on the sheet. So when even you are changing certain text, so Excel has to recalculate all the formulas on the sheet. And if there are multiple sheets and they are connected, so they have to be recalculated as well. So that becomes a problem where there is a lot of data. So to solve that problem, what we can do is we can use array formulas. So array form normally a formula, uh, like for example, we want to multiply uh, the commission uh, with commission per uh, commission per unit. We have number of units sold and commission per unit. We want to calculate the total commission. We can simply multiply the two values. Okay, so when we multiply these two values, the resulting value is one value, a single value. So that single cell has the uh, single value in it, no problem. But uh, array formulas return multiple values. So with those multiple values, uh, they are placed in multiple cells, okay? So for example, here, we can convert this to an, an array formula so that uh, all of, uh, for example, if I have, let's say I have uh, 50, uh, uh, 50 rows here, so uh, I can either copy this formula to these 50 cells and when a value changes, all of these 50 formulas have to be recalculated, although 50 is not a big deal, like computers can easily manage this. But if there are several thousand rows, so th this will become problematic. So to solve this problem, we can use an array formula. And what an array formula is, that we can multiply two entire columns, for example. Uh, in this case, we can multiply these values. Uh, this entire column multiplied by this entire column. Okay? And to make sure that the result is treated as an array, we have to enclose it in array formula. Okay? So this ensures that uh, the resultant value is not placed in one cell, but it will be a lot of values and they will be placed in that many number of cells. So when I press enter, so what happens is that it uh, automatically moves the values down. I don't have to copy the formula down or drag it down. So it has added the values and the formula is in just one cell. So it is still multiplying all the values, but uh, they are not calculating 50 times. It is just calculating one time and outputting the entire result in this. Uh, the problem with it, this uh, usually that happens is that since uh, it expects 50 values, the the result is 50 values. So if there is a problem, uh, for example, there is something in between, let's say I write something here, so it will give me an error. And the error is that there is data in this column, so uh, we cannot output all the values here, so it just doesn't do anything. So I have to remove the obstacle and allow the uh, calculation to proceed. Okay, so this is basically how uh, uh, array formulas can output multiple values and those multiple values are usually uh, faster to calculate as compared to uh, the single formulas.